It is a very good approach to declare variables in VBA. Of course you don't have to, but I would rather treat that as a privilege, not as an obligation. This is so basic thing, but very important and can prevent from many errors and mistakes. And that is why I want to show you how to properly declare variables in VBA. In VBA, if you don't declare the type of variable, the default type is variant, which is the heaviest of all types. So every time you forgot to declare or just don't do this, you use much higher amount of memory than it is really required. To the point, let me show you the numbers. For example, instead of four bytes for long variable, 4 bytes for object or 10 bytes plus string length for string variable, variant variable use 16 bytes in the case of numbers or even 22 bytes plus string length if there are characters as well. Taking into consideration that there are tons of variables in complex code, it makes a quite big difference in overall storage size and it has its transition into overall performance of your code. To declare variable, first of all, you need to use dim phrase, which stands for dimension, or at least I read somewhere about that in the internet. Then you put the name of variable. Next thing is s, and after that, the type of variable. So in general, it looks like this. To declare more than one variable, you can go like this. There is an option to write it in one line, but you need to be careful. Even if your variables are the same type, you can't forget to write its types. If you type like this, the only string type variable is person hobby. The two previous ones, person name and person city, are the variant type in this case. It is really important to have a good naming convention for your variables try to use as descriptive names as it is possible. For example, when it comes to create variables for strings like first name, last name and home city of the user, instead of string var1 is string, string var2 is string or string var3 is string, it would be much better to use names like first name as string, last name as string and home city and string. In this case, you don't have to comment your code or just a little bit, because reading the name of variables, you already see what that stands for. You will be thankful to yourself when you will return to the project from a couple of months earlier. Less time to remind what was all about, trust me. And of course, the same goes with the other parts of code like subs, functions, modules, or classes. So that was all for now. Those two things I really wanted to share with you, or three things. Remember, always declare every variable you use, remove those not used, and create descriptive names for them to minimize the amount of the comments. The shorter code, the easier to read and to use. And that was it. If you like this video, please leave a like below and if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate that. Also, I invite you to my website, simplexlvba.com, to my Pinterest profile with all the memes from my articles, to my Facebook profile, and if you want to show your support to my channel, you can buy me a coffee. All the links are in the description down below. I appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and 
see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.